it's warm out today. Uh, we did a fire yesterday too. Very pretty good. What up, babies? How y'all doing this morning? All uh, the water looking good. Uh, the food. Looks like your food is almost empty. Let's go ahead and let y'all out today. Let them play around a little bit, running out. We get some water and a snack and some food. All right, let's get them squared away. We got two eggs, just two. We'll go ahead and take those out now. They need a little food. And let's see if anybody went back here. Nobody went back here still. All right, so two eggs. We need water and food. What up, baby? Where y'all coming from? <laughs> they running back in. It ain't time yet. I got a lot of stuff to do for y'all. All right, let's get them some water. Let's get them some food. Let's get them a snack. Good job, ladies. Good job. Good job, ladies. All right, let's get ready to get out on this walk. I'll let y'all back out again when I get back from my hike. It's Monday, February 21st, 2022. It's currently 51 degrees and sunny there. Today, it will be mostly cloudy with a forecasted high of 61 and a low of 51. And tomorrow, it'll be rainy. Washington's birthday is on February 21st. Good morning, Shaw. Oh, yeah. Get my boots out. Can't stand mud on my boots. Especially not when it's heavy mud. That's just crazy. If you're getting sick, then you can't hardly walk. Your feet feel 10 pounds heavier because you got all this mud stuck to your feet. Yeah, I can't stand that. And then it just sticks in the, every step. It just makes it harder and harder to get each step up. All right. But we ain't complaining. It's called activity. Oh, yeah. Hey, yesterday I went in, did some skating. Yeah, I feel good. I went to church yesterday. I felt like yesterday was a pretty good message. Oh. Okay. I was on the fence a little bit. I guess what I'm starting to notice is uh, we all rock with a little bit of uncertainty in our lives. Everybody does. I'm just starting to understand it. And I always felt like I was by myself. Like, People looked at me like I was supposed to have it figured out and I just realized one day, like, I don't. And I guess that's the point of it is, nothing in life should ever feel like you've arrived. 
it's always going to be a learning journey. And to hear my pastor basically coming out and saying how he's still learning to interpret the Bible after he's been teaching it for all these years, it makes you wonder. Because I'm always hard on myself. I don't feel like I can teach anything. Even skating. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, I don't, I don't think about skating. I just skate. I just love it. Like, I almost feel like when I get to teaching, I'm going to be like a... Uh, Get out there and have fun. And if I see somebody with a frown on their face, I'm going to hit them with a bamboo stick. Chip her up. Get up and try again. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you shouldn't want... Oh, I guess I'm talking about this because today's the day where I start, yeah? It's a holiday, too. But it's a Monday, and today will be my first lesson in class today on skates i am kind of nervous i guess and i was just telling my wife the other day this is the first time i've started a legit like the feeling of a business venture really since barbering like i sat down and i planned out my barbering even though it didn't go as planned i planned it out and when i stepped out of my job into owning my own barbershop, I felt confident I was gonna be a success, even though everybody around me was saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And I'm like, why not? And I went from, and this is one of those things, look, everybody ain't like me and I get it. But you don't know how much you and me are alike unless you getting out nicely, taking control of your life. What I'm saying is you see what my life is like out here on the trail every day. If you found a trail near your house, what would your trail be like every day? You get where I'm coming from? What would your body's experiences be like? What would the earth look like in your area if you were out picking up in your area and doing something to benefit your community? This is the neighborhood in which I live. So when I come out here and I do trash pickup, I'm doing it so that people in my community can enjoy it just as much as I do. Heck, I bring you out here to enjoy it as well. It's doing our part, people. It's a whole lot of parts to do. Like the roles in the movie. I don't know how I got way off subject like that. I was talking about learning and teaching. I guess the best student will always know they're forever learning. The best teacher will always, wait, the best teacher will always understand that they're always learning. Oh, hey, I'm starting to get it now. And I'm gonna be honest, the more I skate, the more I realize I'm starting to get it. Hey, and the more I look at TikTok, the more I realize it's more people out there that's getting it too. Oh yeah. Hey, I realized something. When I started doing these walks, I wasn't talking about roller skating. I think I was barely going roller skating. I was trying to, but I was a little scared probably. Not scared. I think I was fearful of a love messing up a business. And I never saw a love becoming a business and now <laughs> I love we in business it looked like <sighs> I ain't there yet <laughs> I feel like I've arrived I haven't I gotta teach the first class today that's gonna be interesting but I think it's gonna go great and to me the first class is really gonna be more like I said just going over what what classes will be i feel like the amount of people who are going to be in today's class are going to be my consistence <laughs> the people who are always going to be there every time i have a class and i feel that's cool got to start somewhere and i feel like if i get two people three people i don't care one person and i can get a good before and after and i can really really get them to skate a whole lot better, I think that'll be the start. And I can do that. But it's gonna take the right student, I think. Somebody who's just like, I just wanna do what you do. Like if you can't listen to what I say, 
then you ain't gonna never be able to skate that way. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, yeah, some people gonna be wanting to just hurry along and get to the point. And I'm saying, it's gonna be a whole lot of falling doing going on before then. Believe me, you gotta be ready for it. And if you're not, and you start falling that quick, you're gonna be hurting a lot. And I'm saying, the best thing about taking it slow is while you're learning how to fall, or while you're learning how to do moves, you're learning how to fall at the same time. You do a simple move. Woo. You do a simple move and you do it over and over. And you keep falling as many times as you have to until you get that move right. I know that sucks, yeah. And it ain't no fun. But what I'm saying is, that's how it's gonna get done. I'm learning that. I just practice the same moves over and over and over. And what I'm gonna do is make the moves get tighter and tighter and tighter. And then I'm gonna bring them closer together until I can go from one move to the other without having to think about it. Somebody already commented to me today about how they seen the improvement already. And I'm saying, I don't even think we're close to two months yet. No, we might just be a, like a month and a week. I'm saying, if I make it through 365 days, of skating every day and yeah i see this wasn't no new year's resolution it was when i thought it was time to start that's when it started i could have been like okay okay i'm gonna just get my plan together i'm gonna get everything i need and i'm gonna start 2023 like no come on now that's what i mean don't be waiting around that's just what i'll be telling people if you wait around if you just keep on waiting around that ain't something you really want to do it ain't a real motivator, not to you. People think that they know what their motivators are and they don't. They look at other people's motivators and it's really not a motivator. Not for you. You have to find out what motivates you. And everybody think that money is an easy motivator and money does not motivate people. It's the things you can buy with it that does. And if you don't understand what you can buy with it, then you understand every time you get money, you just be wasting your time. Yeah, you hear what I'm saying? Have you ever came into a large lump sum of money and then it was gone and you still in the same position that you were in before you ever got it or sometimes worse? What I'm saying is you did not understand how to utilize that money. It's just like having an opportunity sitting in front of you. I'm saying... For somebody to come knocking at your door and saying, you're a winner if you can meet these, I, and then you, oh. Goodness, you're lower than normal, or this is higher than normal. <laughs> Either way, I ain't got on no helmet out here, but I do have on my protective eyewear. I can't compare the date, baby. There's no if, ands, or maybe. Whew. I love that I can walk in the deep water now. If you get you some new boots, you can do all kinds of good things. Uh-huh. I tell you, I be trying to get the most out of things, but sometimes I keep them past their welcome. Like, did I get the most out of those boots or did I just cause me a whole lot of pain? And I don't know, but sometimes those two things can feel like one and the same. You know what I'm talking about. It's like, man, the hardship of holding on to something old. Ooh, that is very steep. Dang. Oh, but I love this. It's like it's been opened up for me. We used to have to do a, a, a what is it called? Limbo walk right here to get under the log that you see right here. Now I feel like they just told me don't even use that part of the trail no more. We moving this way. Oh yeah. We ain't calling it a shortcut. We calling it lovely today because the water ain't that deep. At least not this way. We ain't seen down this way in a while. But I walked up the creek yesterday and I really liked the creek yesterday. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna play in this boy more. Now that I got a new pair of boots, I feel like I could do that. You don't like how long my videos are? You can leave, I'm hollering through that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice little waterfall area that wasn't there. Yep. 
And it was crazy. I saw a tree that last year in the spring, it was beautiful. This year, the water has washed away its roots so much, it looked like it's hanging down into the water. So I don't know if that tree is going to be beautiful this year or not. It looks good down through here, though. I tell you that. Even this. This used to be a little bit deeper than this. And it never used to just flow over to that side. It used to come straight through this area right here. It used to come straight down through here and it made a deep area right here. The waterfall used to sit in this area right here. Now it's a stable, nice little pool so a bigger fish could live down in there and not have any problems. Small fish as well. And the fish can get down in there pretty easy. But now the waterfall has moved up to there. That's pretty amazing. And this is not, it's, it didn't get deeper. Actually, it looks like it might've gotten a little shallower, like a lot of the sediment made it into that part and stopped. So eventually I'm figuring this area is gonna fill up with rock and we'll be able to walk through there eventually because this was never this shallow right here. So all the rock that came down here, this is amazing. I, it's amazing how one flood can change so much rock like that. I mean, And I don't know, but we're gonna walk through here too. Shoot, let's keep going. Keep doing it. Thank goodness. What's going on out here, y'all? But we're getting it cleaned up, so it doesn't matter. We ain't gonna keep doing all this though. I ain't the trash man, y'all remember that. Oh, yeah. It definitely looked different. This is way deeper right here. This is where I used to stand, and it used to be real shallow. Now this is a lot deeper, not deep. And that, it looks like it's deeper here, but it looks like it's shallower over there. And it looks like a lot of rock piled up in that area right there. It looks much better to me, I think so. I think it looks very nice. That's crazy, yeah. I'm out here looking at, at the refresh that God did. Said it's spring cleaning, baby. He came out here and cleaned up the creek and said, this is how I want it to look this year's morning walks and so i'm saying well if this is how you want it to look who am i to say anything like like if i didn't like what he did could i go and just change it all back you know how many years it would take for me to make it look like it looked in a video last week heck it don't never look like that and that's what i love about coming out here i get to see the changes and i'm saying when you can appreciate small changes like that in your life i'm saying then you can notice the bigger changes in your life too. Oh yeah. If you could pay attention to every step along the way, you can also see how they add up. I'm saying take your change and throw it in a jar every single day for a year, yeah? Take your change and throw it in the jar every single day for a year. And I'm gonna tell you, you'll be surprised at the end of the year how much change is in that jar. But if you look at that, at that jar every single day, it won't be no surprise. You'll know. And if you count every penny before you put it in, you'll know exactly how much you got in there the day you're ready to cash out, baby. So just let yourself know whether you want to be in for a surprise or you want to know what's coming your way. Either way, if you did something, you're going to get something. It's just whether you're ready for it or not. Whether you know what you got or not. All right, so check this out. Now you can see that big chunk down at the bottom. That big chunk down at the bottom. This was never a hole like this here. So the earth has been washed away from this complete area. And you can see how it's a shelf over there on that side. This was more like, actually, this was the deep spot, y'all. I remember coming out here and saying that somebody's going to get hurt in the snow. But now this is not much deeper than my boot right here. This is... <laughs> And this is the deep spot now. Hey, I would have had to come out here with Penny to do that. And that's amazing. Because then it stacked it all up right here. And this actually widened out a ton. Oh yeah, look what you've done. That's amazing. That is amazing to me. I'm saying, any bikers now, you gotta go this way, baby. You gotta go this way. If a biker comes through here and tries to go through that, that's deep. Oh yeah, I can see building a pond like this for the ducks. Oh, this would be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I come to try and get my ideas for in my yard. Or ideas of what I want to look for in my next yard. 
well, I don't know how that works, but I'm saying I love this because I feel like this is in my yard. And it's not. I know it's not. But I still come out here and take care of it like it is. Because I feel like the earth is our yard. And we got to take care of it. Hey, this is so slick now. I can just walk right through here now. Like, like it looks like he's trying to make me come a new trail, yeah? And I'm saying, I don't mind it. I used to be so hard. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, guess what? That's the right hand. Yep. Yep. That's, let, that's what let me know I'm supposed to come this way. I feel like you're telling me I'm his right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting all the small details. I got you. He said, hey, can you get a broom and sweep up? I just got done doing some renovations. I'm like, no problem. <laughs> Thanks for calling on me, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm your right hand. Your right hand, man. Don't take care of what you've created. Hey, so that's what we was talking about in church. We are talking about Genesis. Oh, my goodness. Look how deep this look and wide now. And that's what I like. That is crazy. This is going to be another nice area for some bigger fish come the spring. They will be back. We saw one the other day stuck in one of those little baby ponds, so they might already be in there. Oh, look at that. And see, that's a deep area now. That was never that deep before. Hey, it's amazing how this happened. That means you know it was like little currents going on in this area. Oh, it is fish. There they are. And they got a big area to swim in now, yeah. Oh, this is going to be nice. And then it goes right back to a shallow area. See, this is the type of stuff to trick you because if this ice is over again, people ain't going to expect that being deep at all. And that is nicely deep. Oh, yeah. It's just crazy to me. And it's like, I was out here yesterday. How, but I guess what I'm saying is, you notice what you notice when you notice it. You can't take it all in, but you try to. I try to take everything in, everything. I do not like for a piece of information to pass me by. Nope, not I. If it's something that I can learn from, yep, I'm saying I'm that guy. I don't care if you think I'm fly. <laughs> that is not, that is not my why. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is this? Is that just a rock? It's a funny looking rock, that's a white rock. That's a big white rock. Believe it. Hey, yeah, so, I don't know. Ah, uh, so I was on, if I told y'all, my first video to go over 15,000 views, I hit that today. I guess I hit it yesterday. That boy going up at 4,000 views every two days. So now we're going up at 2,000 views a day. Hallelujah. My first video to ever go up at 2,000 views a day. It feels like I'm going to just keep saying stuff like this. Um, so, hey, I hit another milestone. And I'm at 45,000 views um, in a 28-day period, which is amazing to me. That means 48,000 people. Or excuse me, 45,000 people saw me this month. This month. That's amazing. That means my videos are about averaging uh, 4,000 views a video. Is that right? No, 400 views a video. Yeah. Because I got almost 1,000 videos up right now. I got 800 videos up. And I'm saying it is because of this that my numbers are going to go up. I just went over 150 subscribers for the first time in a 28 day period. I guess, let me explain what's going on here. Yeah. So how this works and how I have it figured out is the sheer amount of videos that you have out. Like just imagine if every video gets me one view a day, then that's, I mean, I said a day, let's say a month. A month that's 800 views a month right there 800 views a month because I got 800 videos out now I see some people who get 800 views because they only put out one video a month you get where I'm coming from and so what I'm saying is that just was a multiplier for me to guarantee I get 
Now, think about this. I'm saying like one in a thousand videos seems to go viral. And I feel like I'm in my one in a thousand. And what I mean by that is I can look at how many videos I have and how many hit the like button to it. And I can start seeing, okay, this one did good for likes. This one did good for views. This one did good on this platform. And I can see how it's like lightning. It strikes every once in a while, but the more times you put yourself in a situation, the more the likelihood of it striking you. That's what I'm trying to say. So that multiply myself. Basically what I'm saying is, I don't feel like I'm gonna get bit by a shark because I stay my butt out the ocean. But a person who goes surfing every day is likely to have some sort of encounter with the shark. Now me, I can have an encounter with a shark. I do go to the zoo on a rake. No, I sometimes go to the zoo. <laughs> I'm not gonna say on a regular basis. I wish. It could be a shark in my creek. <laughs> no, I was just joking. But basically, I would say that about airplanes, but they say that, you know, look, you, you don't have to fly in an airplane to die in an airplane crash. <laughs> Planes fall from the sky all the time. Yep, I hate to be the one out walking in the woods when it lands. If nobody was out here with me, would that boy make a sound? Oh, yes, it would. <laughs> when it hit the ground, sound something like a pound. Uh-huh. Put the end to it. Shaw's no longer a noun. Nowhere to be found. That plane pushed him down deep into the ground. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, okay, so what I was saying... All right, so that was one way. And then the other way was giving myself multiple chances to have a hit, right? Uh, then the other way is once things start to wake up, then people roll backwards. Like if you find one thing that's a hit, now people go back through your history and you start getting little sparks again. And then they might see one thing that nobody saw a long time ago think it was cute, think it was entertaining. They share it out. And that's how something from your old content starts to go viral. Then you have the consistency of always being there, which so many people seem to like that on YouTube. It seems like people want people to be consistent because it's hard for them to be consistent for themselves a lot of times. But I'm saying, once again, something that's easy for me since I'm always here, it's easy for me to see who's always here with me. And I can see consistency because I have a consistent pattern that shows up on my YouTube videos every day. And so I'm saying thank you to all the people who stay consistent with me. Much love, much respect. Hey, I'm going to be straight. I appreciate all the comments, but now they're starting to come in at a little bit of a, a faster rate. And I ain't going to lie. I can't keep up. I'm saying think about this, yeah? And this is a good thing because this is where we wanted to be. For everybody who's been rocking with me, thank you for the support. And I ain't saying I, it ain't necessary because I feel like it's still necessary. I feel like my day ones, y'all the ones who helped me get to this point. And I'm saying it's because of y'all. Y'all motivated me. And oh, I got people. And I got a lot of people. Oh my goodness, it's a whole tribe of people. Uh huh. Man, that's a gang. Oh boy. What we gonna do? They sent more than one. They sent more than two. Oh my goodness. Stick, are you ready? I wish I would have brought my damn machete. Oh my goodness. Hey, just be still. Hold it steady. Oh my God. Last one. I'm running up out of here calling for daddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, I'm just playing. They look like they're a bunch of high school students. They out of school today. At least they better be. Cause boy, I got a club and a and a hot mic. Boy, I ain't gonna be out here hitting and talk talking about no damn psych. You better move your butt up. Treat you like a northern pike. Still leader in a club over the head. Beat you, beat you, beat you. Now that fish body dead. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me get up out of here. They see me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, 
up. Already being funny with their talk. They don't know about this man and his walk. Yeah. Hey, that's like a movie like Walking Tall. I can see that. A few high school students out on a walk while Shaw the barber was out on his morning talk. They approached like they were starting to hawk. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, yeah. Uh, we just finished another morning walk. Mm. Your boy feeling good. And I'm saying, hey, things are going good right now. I'm going swimming. I might even take the boys with me today because they out of school for the holiday. And then what I'm saying is, tonight will be the first class. And I'm hoping it won't be the last. Let's get it, y'all. It's my first adventure that I've done that really, I mean, I've done a lot of things that I feel like trying to bring money in, income in, things like that. But this is the first grind that I feel like I can do this. We can really get this going. And I'm about to get to the proof and get that junk showing. Hey, much respect, much love. Once again, this is your boy. And I'm out.